that's it. If you're waking up tired, you didn't get enough sleep. But when you wake up, it is suggested meditation. Meditation. And I looked at the App Store Christian Meditation apps, and they're out there. I've not tried them. The way I meditate is I start out reading scripture. Um, I look at Jesus Calling. I read Jesus Calling. And then at the bottom, there's always some scripture. So I love to have my Bible nearby. And if you follow me on Instagram stories, I usually always take a picture of it. It's just a way to get started. And then I like to just close my eyes and think about what the Lord is saying. I think he's speaking to me. He's not, it's not just a book. I feel like Jesus is speaking to me. And when I have the word of God out, sometimes it'll take me to other verses. You know, sometimes when you start reading the word, you just want to keep on and on. But you need to set your alarm where you get up in time to do that. It may You may start out with just five minutes. But if you can close your eyes and meditate on what the Lord is saying, then you start praying what his will is. You pray his will. All right, if you're watching live, type in live. And if you're watching on the replay, type in replay, because I want to know. So, and if this is helpful, let me know. Okay, so you need your sleep, meditation, and prayer. Y'all, that helps you to calm. And when you start out in meditation and prayer and in God's Word, you get His Word in your mind. So, it sets your mind up to think God's thoughts. Because, you know, all day long, the enemy wants to keep putting lies in your head, right? Negativity. But you know what? When you start out with God's word, you can come back to that because he speaks to you and he meets you right where you are. So that's tip number two. Number three is intermittent fasting. Hey, Charlotte. Good. So intermittent fasting. I'm glad this is helping you, Stephanie. Thank you. I need that encouragement. Intermittent fasting is when you go for a period without eating. Okay, most people start out with 12 hours, and that's easy. If you cut off eating at 6 at night, which we do in our shred group, then you won't, you know, you wake up hungry, and that's good. That's a good sign, okay? Then once you can go a little bit longer, maybe 14 hours, 16 hours, 18 hours, 24-hour fast, but you start little, that's going to help with that brain fog. It really does. It helps, and you start burning fat instead of sugar. Okay, who on here wants to burn fat? Can I say hello? <laughs> you haven't slept for seven hours because Happy's meds. Oh, your sweet dog, Happy. Oh, bless him. Junko, it's like you have a newborn, right? Or an elderly parent. All right, so thank you for that thumbs up. So intermittent fasting is good. So I, after I, I've got my good night of sleep. I get up. I've meditated on the Lord. I've prayed, read his word, received what he has for me that day. Everybody needs a fresh word every day. You can't live on yesterday's word. Can I say amen? Hey, Jessica, you're so funny. You know, fasting, you start little. Just start little baby steps. But there's a lot of health benefits to it. Old school, like in the 80s and 90s, we used to say eat every three hours to boost your metabolism. Now science is saying that's never been proven and that's false information. So we need to relook at that. Hey, Emmy, glad you joined us. So I got, I gave three tips, sleep, meditate, prayer, intermittent fasting. So I like to work out in the morning and I know everybody can't do that, but I like to work out in the morning in the fasting state. So I'm burning more fat, right? And you can do your home workouts. You don't have to go to a gym. If it's cold, rainy, and all that. Now, I want you in the gym working out with me. If I have classes, I want you to come work out with me. But if you can't, find something at home. I have a great DVD. I have a um, YouTube channel. And there's so many other. There's so many others. There's so many great teachers on YouTube nowadays. So you want to get that workout in and burn that fat. And did you know exercise makes more neurotransmitters in your brain. This is brain health, people. Brain health, exercise can help your brain. My neurosurgeon, if y'all don't know, I had a 14 hour brain surgery and Dr. Thompson, I had two. And Dr. Thompson and I have become buddies. But he told me that. He's like, exercise is, builds more neurotransmitters. So y'all, if you care about your brain, exercise. And you'll see people with Alzheimer's dementia, if they start an exercise program, it helps them. 
it helps them tremendously. I don't want to get Alzheimer's. I don't want to get um, dementia. See, I already forgot the word. <laughs> so I'm doing all I can for the brain health, right? Plus the, with the brain tumor, you do start thinking more about your brain, obviously. Jessica, I hear you, girlfriend. Hey, Terrence, I'm glad you're on. So that's number four. So we talked about sleep, meditation and prayer, intermittent fasting, exercise. This is my schedule. This is kind of what I do to stay healthy and fit. So you gotta find what works for you, but I'm giving some tips that maybe will help you and inspire you. So you wanna get your sleep, you wanna meditate and pray, intermittent fasting, exercise, and then to replenish. So if you have fasted, I didn't eat since six last night, um, you fasted, you've worked out, you are hungry, right? But you don't wanna go to junk food. You wanna keep drinking lots of water, okay? And I like to replenish with plant foods because antioxidants are what fights cancer and fights oxidative stress. Now, if you don't know what oxidative stress is, I'm just going to tell you in a nutshell. You can Google it. I've got a 20-minute webinar about it if you want me to send you that. If you're an athlete, if you work out hard, if you have children who work out hard, you need to know what oxidative stress is. Okay, so our body... When we're breathing, when we're talking, we're making stress, right? So your body on the inside is going to start rusting away, basically. And it shows on the outside with wrinkles and spots and all that kind of stuff. So it's just natural. It's going to happen. But we want to reduce it, right? Raise your hand if you want to reduce it. Or give me a like if you want to reduce oxidative stress, reduce aging. Um, the way we do that oxidative stress you need antioxidants it's that simple y'all and you know dr odom does a great teaching and he's coming back to franklin the end of this month i'm so excited but if you want to reduce oxidative stress you need antioxidants where do you get antioxidants plant foods plant foods you have to have fruits vegetables berries seeds those are what is going to help you stay young, stay healthy, fight oxidative stress and cancer, which begins with oxidative stress and inflammation. So, the what I do, I take my I take my veggies, this and and none of the sugars in it. That's a, the beauty of Juice Plus. None of the sugars in it. So, if you're on a ketogenic diet and you're not getting enough vegetables, I would encourage you to get some juice plus capsules, okay? So you're getting, I'm getting broccoli, parsley, tomato, carrot, garlic, beet, spinach, cabbage, oat bran, rice bran, and kale every single day. And then um, I also do these. So none of the sugar, apple, peach, cranberry, orange, papaya, cherry, pineapple, prune, dates, and beets. And these are some killer antioxidants. If you don't eat blueberries, strawberries, raspberries every day, you need to. Okay, you need to. Um, I'm getting raspberry, bilberry, blueberry, cranberry, pomegranate, conquered grape, black currant, blackberry, elderberry, artichoke, and cocoa. You need these every day in your body. And you know the elderberry, if you start feeling sick, flu-like symptoms, there's some elderberry juice you can get at Whole Foods. Man, I started feeling a little bit of sickness coming on when everybody around me at the gym and um, my children's friends were all sick. And I took a spoonful when I got it. I took another spoonful at night before bed. Fine. Fine, my immune system was built up. You have to keep, it's like a bank. If you invest in yourself and keep eating these plant foods, when, you, when a sickness does come on you, you may not get it. You may be able to fight it. You may get it, but you don't have that bad of symptoms. You may get it and it won't last as long. But flood your body with plants. Now, another thing for brain health and for overall wellness are omegas. If you care about your heart, if you have any kind of heart problems, you need omegas. If you want healthier brain, you need omegas, okay? It will help with skin, hair, and nails. It makes you more beautiful, right? All right, somebody tell me that. It's working, right? <laughs> 
So I'm going on 50 this year, and I want to feel my best. I want to be in the best health ever because my daughter's engaged. So I'm already thinking, hmm, maybe in about five years, I'll have grandbabies. And I want to be healthy and fit and travel and love on them and pick them up and throw them around and all that. So I definitely want a good brain so I can make memories and remember things, right? So these are great. And these are vegan. So if you don't like the fishy taste or fishy smell, or if you've read that a lot of the fish are contaminated, yes, that's true. A lot of these cheap omegas have used contaminated unhealthy fish. So be careful what your source is. We skipped the fish and went straight to the algae, which is where it comes from. If you want a video on our omegas, on everything that's in it, let me know because this is some powerful stuff. It gets right in your system. It's pure, very pure. That's what we want. All right, so I think I went through my smoothie. Um, yeah, I use almond butter in my smoothie, healthy fat. I didn't go through my smoothie. That's what I'm going to do. So I like to add this. It's so good, y'all. I could eat the whole jar, but I have to have self-control because there's a lot of calories. But it's healthy fat, and that is good for your brain. Okay? Another thing, I added some cinnamon. And I learned when I'm cooking at night to use a lot of herbs because spices, all those things are so good for you. Cinnamon. And then I added, today I added hemp seeds. Now I have... All kinds of seeds. I have chia seeds and flax seeds, and all those are good with those omega threes for your brain. Um, you can just see this here. What does it say? I got these at Sprouts. All right, super simple, super nutritious superfoods give you the energy you need to leave out, live out the day to the fullest. So I know you want to live life to the fullest, right? Um, but these are great. These are great. All right, and then I added, I use um, unsweetened almond milk usually. You can use coconut milk. Um, Non-GMO soy milk is good. Soy is actually very good for you if it's non-GMO and not overly processed. So look at um, Japan, like where Junko's from. In Japan, they have the highest um, rate of women eating soy and the lowest amount of breast cancer the lowest, and now soy is actually proven to help if it's a pure source, so we use only the pure. All right, almond butter, so good, Jessica, you will love it. Hey, Mary, glad you joined. Hey, Maureen, glad you joined. Hey, Scott and Richard, a lot of friends joining. So if you'll type in live or replay, if you're watching this on the replay, um, this is the protein powder I use. It's very healthy, so healthy, that we have a study with it used at MD Anderson for women who are overcoming cancer, okay? So I love this. It's got 13 grams of protein and eight grams of fiber. And a lot of people wanna push protein, 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 but what your body is probably lacking is fiber. And if you drink two of these a day, you've just about reached your fiber, um, the recommended amount. So. It's very good. It's low on the glycemic index. So if you have diabetes, if you're trying to lose weight, um, it's, it's going to help you. And if you're trying to build muscle, this will help you as well. So I hope this has benefited y'all. That's kind of, um, in, a, in a nutshell, my goals or how I stay healthy. Sleep, meditate and prayer, intermittent fasting, exercise, getting those healthy fats, those omegas, drink lots of water. That's another thing. I love my water. If you could just take water everywhere with you, make sure you always have it nearby and just sip on it all day, all day. And when you do eat your healthy foods, you need water to help it absorb in your cells. I've learned that when I was a health coach full time for the state of Tennessee. And there I am. It got stuck for a minute. All right, so what I was just gonna encourage you all is to, what was I saying now? I got stuck on there. Um, yeah, if you wanna know more about getting more antioxidants and less sugar and more healthy fats, let me know. I have some great videos I can share on that. Any questions at all, I want you to let me know. You can private message me if you don't wanna put it here 
or of course just comment. And I think I went through everything. We're finishing up our Shred 10, which we really focus on all these areas of health. And Dr. Odom is coming at the end of the month. He's gonna be teaching more about brain health, gut health. And y'all, science is just proving over and over again that we've had some wrong thinking about our diet. So if you're curious to know more, let me know. Love you all. Have a blessed day. Loved having y'all on here this morning. Mwah!